Hey there, how's it going? Man, just lots of changes for me. Uh, one of the biggest ones, obviously, is the uh, deciding to uh, change my weight and the types of foods that I'm eating now and primarily vegetables, just a little bit of meat and uh, just how much better I feel and it's and combined with where I'm staying and knowing that I can you know, a lot more of the you can do it, you can do it kind of thing um I was watching a video from uh, Vice and they were talking about how expensive it is to live in London and uh, but yeah I mean you look at the guy's place and it's just like well yeah that's that's the place that looks like that that's that looks like it's from a magazine yeah that's gonna be expensive but nevertheless uh, it made me just look up on some websites how much apartments are, what the cheapest apartments are in the UK. And I found some for around the same price as I'm paying here. Surprised the heck out of me. And I thought, well, how much is a, is, is a type of a visitor's visa that lasts up to two years? How much is that? And it was in the 500s. And I'm going, wow. Well, that's less than I thought it would be. I thought it would be around, you know, about, up above 2000 bucks or something, but it was in the 500s. I was like, wow. Let's look up something else. Let's look up to see if I can get disability income while I'm not in the country. The answer is yes. Wow. Now, I'm not saying this is something I'm going to do, but it's just that knowing that I could... Um, you know, I want to try to see, you know, how well I can do here in Shimokin. And maybe I'll get really tired of it. Who knows? But if I did, it would be something to save up for, um, to look to, I mean, the way things are now, you know, I'm not having to eat so much. And I know that might seem just like such a... I mean, I'm spending probably a tenth of what I used to on food. I used to... The way I'd eat before, I, I spent a lot on food. Just a lot. Sometimes I'd go to a restaurant... I'm not talking about fast food. I'd actually go to a sit-down restaurant. I'd probably do that, you know, at least once a week. I would get foods at the grocery store that were partially prepared already. I'd get some TV dinners. I'd get things that were, you know, quick to make. And now I don't. I, I you know, I, I have my vegetables. I have the uh, I have whatever the meat is that I want to have at the time. What I just had a, a little bit ago was um, uh, like half of a a really thin pork chop, half of a thin pork chop, and then the rest was the vegetables that I normally make. Uh, made the same way, it turned out great. Loved it. You have to take the pork chop part of section of it out because it gets cooked more soon. I mean, I, I guess it would be the same if they were frozen, but these weren't frozen and the vegetables were frozen. So took the pork chop out early, finished cooking the vegetables, put it up back, all, you know, cut up the pork chop into, into, into cubes and then put the vegetables in and uh, delicious. And uh, But I spend so little on food now compared. And I'm going... Man, if I was to just downsize everything. If I was a, if I saved up for a laptop, for instance. If I saved up for a laptop. You know, one that's good enough that it could handle the video editing and it could handle 
um, capture at 60 frames per second at 1080p. If I could, if I could, you know, save up for something like that. You know, I actually could, like, go to the UK. Bare, bare essentials for the things that I like to do, right? And if I got a, you know, I mean, that stuff that I could just carry with me, right? And I got a, uh, 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 an air mattress to sleep on. This is, of course, after I'm, I'm, th I'm thinned down, I can walk a lot more. Um, you know, I'm thinking like, you know, two years down the line, two, two years. You know, just streamline everything. Get that money to go to, to, to be able to go to the UK, find a place that's cheap. Be there for one or two years. And then get a visa for another part of Europe that I could I could take public transport excuse me, tation to. Because I'm not gonna have to play, pay for a full plane trip again. I'd have to pay for the visa. But you know what if I did that every year and a half or two years or something and I went to another place in Europe and went to another place in Europe and just moved around and because I know now for sure that I'm able to I'm able to to do it I'm able to to go somewhere that I don't know anyone and still do all right and an advantage that I would have as far as like being noticed in some way, I would be noticed simply for the, f the fact that I'm from the United States and I have, you know, I talk like someone from the United States. You know, if I want to be noticed, this it's one of the, that was one of the things that I would do the whole, uh, the heavy thing and showing it off thing is getting noticed, whether it's good or bad, you know, just getting noticed. But it would be for different things this time. You know, I could, I could, I could have everything that I need with me in, in, in one trip. I mean, it'd be a lot of stuff I'd be carrying with me, but I could do it. I could carry that stuff with me and go to a new place. You know, again, I, I'd, I'd like to try to see if, how, how I can get things going here in, in Shimokin. And I hope I can be, you know, do this for at least two years. But maybe after that I could, I could you know, go a bunch of places in Europe. I just think that sounds cool. That's like, um, is it doable? And over the next two years, I can look further and further into whether or not that's a feasible thing. How cool would that be to, to be able to get, to experience all the nuances and, and all these little things that are different between, you know, here and places, other places that people speak English in. And would I eventually go for some of the places that English is a second or third language? You know? How would I do there? And and picking up the, some of the language that they have there. You know, picking up whatever the native language is of the place. Like if I went to Germany or something. Um, just how cool would that be? I, I mean... The thing that, that hit me so much is that, making sure it's actually recording, um, the thing that hit me so much is that I am in control of my destiny, or at least, you know, I have a reasonable amount of control of my destiny. I get to control my life. I get to do with my life what I want. If I was to do something like that, 
uh, you know, my brother could get the van. He'd probably like that. Um, it'd give him the, the freedom to do uh, similar things here in the States if he wanted to. He could have all of his stuff in the van. You know, wherever it is that I'd go in Europe, I wouldn't have a vehicle. But Europe tends to have, a lot of Europe anyway, tends to have a much better public transportation system than here. But if I'm thinned down, you know, 180 or something like that, you know, 160, 180, somewhere around there, I'd be able to... There wouldn't be any more worries. Oh, what if I have to walk here? Oh, I might lose weight if I walk too much or if I do too much of this stuff, I might lose weight. Oh, no, I, I'm not, I don't have that worry anymore. It's so, it's so weird. The, the gaining scene is so weird. It's so weird. And the thing that I always was, was annoyed, if not even a little bit disgusted by, is how in the gaining scene, there's this mindset of, oh, let's, and, and I didn't participate in this, but some people did. And it's like, ooh, look, I, I had five Big Macs. And they're just running everything. Go, oh, that's so great! And it's just like, no, that's messed. Why would you eat that much crap? <laughs> you know. Um, one of the other things that made me, you know, get out of that was was the idea that well, in order to get any bigger than I was, I would start having to eat crappy foods. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I already felt bad enough eating the foods that were, you know, pushing the boundary of whether it was crappy foods. You know, I was already feeling bad enough there. If I sat there and ate really crappy foods, well, let's, let's get on, let's, let's be on 10 medications, right? <laughs> One of the things I would have to do I would definitely have to do, if I was to, to make some sort of move, like, you know, go to the UK and, and go around to different places, as long as I can find some that are affordable, right, with with the little amount that I make. Um, affordable while still having a life, I should say. Would be that I would not probably want to still be on Zyprexa. I wouldn't want to be on Olanzapine. I would have to find a way to, you know, wean myself off of that. Again, though, any of this, I'm, I'm hoping can be, you know, like two years down the line. You know, where I'd be a lot more fit. Um, I'm a lot more used to a different lifestyle. Um... And hopefully I'll be able to save up money, which is something I haven't been very good at in my past. Not been very good at saving money. Yeah, this this would be this would be cool if I could do something like this. And if I decide not to do it, whatever. I mean it's still it's still it's still my decision. I am able to be in control of my life. so many of these why can't I what ifs now which is cool it's not what if this awful thing happens no it's well what if I were able to do this and what if I did this well why can't I do this why can't I do this over here why can't I do these things That's a change. <laughs> That's a real change. Um, I never thought I'd ask these questions of myself. It's just very cool. I got some something here. It's not. It's not a tear. I'm not tearing up. I though. If I keep talking about it, maybe I will, because it just it's such a change. 
Um, let's see what happens, right? <laughs> 